Colorado's DUI laws are being called into question tonight after a Thornton family says their loved one was killed by a drunk driver. Now, some think laws need to be tougher, while others say there are legitimate reasons for how the system is structured. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon begins with one family's frustrations on how the system is handling this case. And I miss talking to him every day. Cesar Estrada. I miss his laughter. Is missed. I miss spending time with him. By his ex-wife, Erlinda Garcia. Feels empty in my life without him being here. And his daughter, Angel Estrada. That blue shirt in that photo is the shirt that my dad was wearing the night that he got hit and killed. Saying it doesn't feel like enough to be left with his urn. I'm frustrated because I feel like my dad isn't getting the justice that he deserves. Because of how her father died. The driver hit him and he kind of flung two lanes. The coroner ruled the death an accident, but the condition of the driver is what this family can't shake. After I heard the third DUI, I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. This bar is where Caesar's family says he was before he died that night. And they say he was trying to cross 84th in this general area. He was killed before he made it to the other side. You would think after your third DUI that you would get more consequences because you should know that you shouldn't be behind the wheel. We reached out to the DA's office on the case, which sent us this statement saying they extend their deepest condolences to the loved ones in this case, but it's their duty to make difficult charging decisions that require them to follow the facts, the evidence, and the law. It continues to say they understand and appreciate those decisions are difficult for victims' families to understand and accept. But prosecutors are ethically limited in what they can discuss when it comes to pending cases, saying we can assure you we followed the evidence and the law in making this charging decision, and we will continue to do so in every case. I think it's unfair. Colorado law says a person's fourth DUI is when it becomes a felony charge. One is too many. Fran Lanzer with Mothers Against Drunk Driving Colorado says there needs to be more done to strengthen DUI laws in the state. We're definitely behind the curve and it's something we would love to change. National data shows the average drunk driver has been impaired behind the wheel over 80 times before their first arrest. Alcohol found a way to took my dad away from me. The family saying their loved one had three DUIs on his record too, but that the two men made two very different decisions that night. One chose to walk and the other chose to drive. One got killed and the other one killed him. Fighting for justice and change for the one they miss so much. Clot Bordelon, Denver 7. And we've reached out to the Adams County DA's office, and they say sentences for multiple DUI arrests are not so cut and dry. There are several factors that go into determining a sentence, including the person's blood alcohol level, whether it's the first DUI charge, and how close in time the new DUI is to the prior DUI. So let's go in depth here. Look at how Colorado's DUI laws compare to other states. MAD, Mothers Against Drunk Driving, rates all 50 states based on their DUI uh, laws. And the latest report examined the laws on the books in 2019. Now, states have the potential to earn five stars from MAD based on categories such as ignition interlocks for offenders after a first offense, sobriety checkpoints, and revoking driving privileges after an arrest. Colorado received 4.5 stars from MAD. MAD cites Colorado's use of ignition interlocks for all convicted drunk drivers, allowing a shorter license suspension period for using an interlock right after a conviction. But MAD says Colorado can really improve by enacting laws making child endangerment a felony when a child's in the car at the time. Well, Arizona was the only state to receive five stars, and they cite Arizona's law requiring convicted drunk drivers use one of those ignition interlocks before obtaining any unrestricted driving privileges. Their report says this has helped Arizona reduce drunk driving deaths by 29% since 2007. And some say Colorado's law to make your fourth DUI a felony is too lenient. Other states make it a felony on your third DUI offense. And we spoke to a defense attorney in our state who says there's a specific part of Colorado's law that makes it more harsh. Mandatory minimum 60 days that any repeat offender uh, being sentenced for a third DUI in Colorado in their lifetime, so it's three no matter when they occurred, has to serve a mandatory minimum 60 days of jail and up to one year of jail. And he says in some other states where three offenses equal a felony, those offenses all have to happen within a limited period of time to then rise to the level of a felony.